I'm an astrophysicist, so it probably won't surprise you that I want to talk about science. But what I mean by that probably will surprise you. I won't be showing any equations, so you can relax. I won't be referring to the periodic table or even highlighting any of the technology that science has made possible. All those things are important. But I want to emphasize something very different. I'd actually like to focus on you, well, and me, each of us, each of you, and your relationship to yourself, to your friends and family, and the person sitting next to you, to all the people in your life, and to the rest of Earth and the universe as a whole. Science can teach us something that transcends technical intellectual knowledge. It can teach us something about our experience that transforms that experience and our awareness of who we are and what we're capable of. I've been teaching astronomy and physics for over 20 years to a wide range of audiences, from grade school kids to graduate students to the general public. And throughout that time, I've noticed a kind of contradiction. On the surface, I'm teaching specific technical knowledge, and yet that's not really the heart of the message I'm trying to convey. It's not what motivates me to teach and what students seem to resonate most deeply with. No, the core value of the science I teach is something that happens kind of in the spaces between my words, between the equations I write on the chalkboard, between the laws and the theories that we study. All those things are just pointers to help us see something much deeper that can't be directly expressed in words or equations. So let me give you an example that I hope will enable us to actually feel this experience together rather than you just listening to me talk about the experience. So close your eyes for a moment and turn your full awareness to what it feels like internally to be you right now. Are you tired or hungry, joyful, bored, anxious or worried about something? Maybe just curious to find out what I'll say next. Sift through whatever stories you're telling yourself in words about what's happening in your life and try to get to the heart of the direct experience of being you. What does it feel like? Does it have a color, a smell, a taste, a texture, perhaps a sound? When you feel immersed in the experience of you-ness, open your eyes and look around the room at all the other people here with you. Make eye contact if you can. Maybe go out on a limb and smile. <laughs> Acknowledge them. <laughs> Acknowledging that although everyone's experience is different in some ways, we all have very much in common. There's something it's like to be each person, something not that different from what it feels like to be you. Now expand your awareness out beyond just the people in this room to uh, our larger community of more than seven billion humans and all the other beings with whom we share this planet. Hold this all in your awareness as concretely as you can, this invisible but very real layer of subjective experience that permeates our planet. And now add one more piece. Visualize the physical size of Earth, the largest thing that most of us can concretely imagine. So go somewhere in your mind's eye where you can really feel the immensity of Earth, um, maybe at the coast, looking out over the ocean. Okay, you're there. Now take a look at this image. It's one of the most breathtakingly beautiful photographs I've ever seen. It was taken by the spacecraft Cassini, orbiting Saturn and looking back toward the sun. So you can see sunlight sparkling through ice crystals that make up the rings of Saturn, um, much as you might enjoy sunlight sparkling through icicles, you know, hanging from a tree on a sunny winter day here on Earth. And now I'd like you to focus on that tiny dot indicated by the arrow I've added in the photo. Can you see it? I don't know if you can. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's us, Earth. Everything that any of us has ever thought or felt, enjoyed or worried about, happened there within that dot. Whoa. <laughs> Just take a breath and really let that soak in. 
the value of science that I'm talking about is the transition that happens inside of you at the moment you recognize that you're part of that tiny dot. And that dot lives within a vast cosmic context. As the impact of this awareness sinks in, I suspect your thoughts and feelings change. At first, you may feel very, very small as you become aware of the tiny physical size of Earth compared with the rest of our solar system, not to mention our galaxy of hundreds of billions of suns and our universe of at least that many galaxies. Yet the core insight is not about feeling small, but about feeling connected to immensity, to all of this and more. Your identity expands to fill the vastness, and you become something different than you were a moment before. Your personal experience becomes an integral part of something much, much bigger. Every time this transition happens for me, I, I feel it viscerally. I almost shudder and catch my breath. Carl Sagan eloquently described the experience. There is a tingling in the spine, a catch in the voice, a faint sensation as if a distant memory of falling from a great height. We know we are approaching the grandest of mysteries. If you remember only one thing from my talk, I hope you'll remember this feeling, the sensation of being connected to your larger self, your cosmic context. And I hope you'll remember how to get back to that feeling whenever you want to. You can deliberately create this experience at any time. Insights from science offer portals into this experience. I call them glimpses of wonder to emphasize that they are distinct moments of internal experience and not just the scientific facts by themselves. They happen when something shocks us into recognizing concretely that we are part of a vast and deep and mysterious reality that extends far beyond any particular story we can tell about what's happening to us at that moment. Astronomical insights do this well. They have high shock value because they transport us to um, far beyond our familiar experience. Um, they remind us of other worlds, other life, even the beginning and end of time itself. Whenever I set up a telescope on a street corner, I'm amazed at how quickly people from all walks of life are drawn in to that cosmic perspective as they look with their own eyes at craters on the moon or the rings of Saturn or a nebula where baby stars are being born. So astronomy is a great portal, but other sciences and even just ordinary everyday observations can be glimpses of wonder as well. For example, when a raindrop lands on the tip of your nose, all you have to do is wonder what puddle of water or plant did it evaporate from? Or what distant star formed the oxygen atoms that are now part of that raindrop? Questions like these help you realize that the pattern forming your identity is part of a much vaster pattern spanning billions of years and light years. It includes Earth's ecosystem that nourishes and sustains us. It includes sunlight that drives and sustains our ecosystem. It includes ancient suns whose death literally formed the elements that now make up your body, and even earlier cosmic conditions that created the environment in which these suns could form at all. In the long run, I think its ability to transport us into these expanded states of awareness is the most important role scientific knowledge will play in the future of humanity, even more important than technology. I believe this because many of our difficulties, whether individual or social or planetary, arise from narrowness of perspective. We forget that no matter what situation we're in, there's always another way to see things. So expanding our awareness can help us avoid being stuck or trapped in one point of view. Kind of keeps our minds nimble, right? Gives us access to a much broader range of perspectives and tools and ultimately solutions. Of course, this doesn't mean you can or should stay in a cosmic perspective all the time, which is my, I might like to. Um, we need narrow focus sometimes to understand the details of a situation or simply to get things done. 
But having ready access to a cosmic perspective is incredibly empowering. It literally connects you to your larger self. It reminds you that you are a moment of awareness within one strand of a vast and interwoven cosmic tapestry. You're part of a thread that traces all the way back to the stars and beyond to the beginning, the origins of the universe itself. Seeing yourself as an extension of the creative power of the whole universe empowers you to rewrite your story when you need to and not remain stuck in an unhealthy or limiting story. I mean, if your entire universe of thoughts and feelings can turn out to be a tiny dot in a photo of Saturn, then what else may not be as it seems? Perhaps you'll think I'm naive to suggest that such a simple change of perspective could make a real difference for the complex problems we find ourselves entangled within. But I would love to see what might happen if every meeting among world leaders began with a brief ceremonial exercise designed to transport participants into this cosmic perspective. An exercise that transcended local beliefs and cultural practices. You know, something like what we just did, looking at the Cassini photo of Earth as a dot. And just in my personal experience, this simple change of perspective has helped me through countless challenges, large and small, from shaking off tiny inconveniences and perceived failures, to a broken heart, to illnesses and major life transitions, to just finding new solutions to old problems. It even helped me through the fairly significant anxiety of coming out on stage to talk with you here today. The perspective by itself doesn't solve your problems, but it puts you in a frame of mind from which solutions seem to just kind of naturally arise. In any case, you don't have to take my word for it. Try it for yourself. You can start right now. Look again at the Cassini photo, and then close your eyes, and notice what it feels like to be you in this new moment. Notice what happens and who you become internally when you embrace the realization that you are an expression of the whole cosmos in human form. Whatever you create with each moment going forward into the future is a strand within a vast cosmic tapestry that transcends any particular attempt to describe it completely. So there's always room for you to redefine it. With this perspective in mind, look around the room once again at a few of your fellow humans. What will you create with this moment before you? And the next moment? And the next? I, for one, look forward to finding out and to marveling at the unfolding beauty of the cosmic tapestry. A tapestry that all of us, with a little help from the rest of the universe, will create together. Thanks for listening.